திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் ஊழியர்கோன் வெப்பொழித்த புகலியர்கோன் கடல் போற்றி ஆழிமிசை கல் மிதப்பில் அணைந்த பிரான் அடி போற்றி வாழி திரு நாவலூர் வன்றொண்டர் பதம் போற்றி ஊழி மலி திருவாத ஊரர் திருத்தாள் போற்றி திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் Today we are going to be looking at uh, a Padigam of Sundarar. Uh, this Padigam is 7.28. This is sung on the Salam Thirukkadavur. Thirukkadavur is uh, one of the uh, famous Salams in uh, the South India. Uh, you know, the, we have talked about the Attaviratta Salam, uh, the 8th Salam. temples associated with the eight uh, great uh, acts of uh, valor by shiva you know things like uh, burning the three forts burning kama or uh, uh, consuming the poison or uh, uh, kicking yama or uh, plucking the head of brahma etc so this salam tirukkadavur is associated with the shiva kicking yama and we know that story uh so this place is called tirukkadayur in uh, current uh, uh, times so if you ask if you say tirukkadavur most people will not know if you say tirukkadayur they will know so this place is uh, on the near the coast uh, you know if you uh, maybe it's you can say it's like about uh, uh, 50 km southeast from chidambaram along the coast and this uh, place is where the legend of uh, markandeya being saved by shiva uh, that is the salapuranam you know we know the story of markandeya uh, just a summary is that you know he was the only child of his parents and uh, his parents when they did uh, got the when they got the boon they were given the option and they chose a son who will live only for 16 years but a good son so when the son was about uh, 16 years old the parents were all uh, you know sad and then of course he asked you know what's the situation is it no, no this is your, your life will end soon so of course he was a great uh, devoted uh, uh, child and uh, he was uh, immersed in uh, shiva worship and at the appointed time uh, the yamadutas they cannot come anywhere near him because of his uh, devotional power you know he, they couldn't come near him so the yama himself comes yama himself comes to uh, kill him at the time shiva appears from the shivalingam and uh, gently kicks with his left foot and yama falls down die and dies you know because he can't stand that kick of shiva so then shiva blesses uh, markandeya and gives him immortality you know so he is he is one of the chiranjeevis you know there are hanuman is a chiranjeevi like that there are several chiranjeevis and um, uh, markandeya is the most famous chiranjeevi and this story of shiva kicking yama is a very famous uh, thing so the tirukkadavur is very well known because of that and today in modern times a lot of people you know especially they are those who are celebrating their 60th birthday or the 80th birthday they all want to go to tirukkadavur and do their birthday puja there because they believe that you know by doing their 68th birthday puja in tirukkadavur you know they will have extra insurance from yama that is a belief so this is a very famous temple a big temple and uh, when you go to this temple uh, you know try to go in the afternoon in the mornings it will be highly crowded and also in the prakaram in the corridor around the sannidhi a lot of people will come and do their uh, homam and this and that for the 68th birthday i don't know why they do that but uh, that is what i have seen inside the temple in the prakaram they will be there will be like homakundams uh, like 10 or 12 homakundams around the temple and uh, a lot of people will be doing birthday you know 60th birthday or 80th birthday puja there so it could be filled with the people and it could be filled with smoke so it is not uh, anyway so that's what you can see but if you go in the afternoon it will be peaceful and you can have a good darshanam 
and the ambar here uh, is known as abirami and uh, a few centuries ago there was a great uh, uh, ambar devotee who is known as abirami butter he was a temple priest and uh, he sang a set of verses on abirami of uh, tirukadavur and that is known as abirami andadi and that is a very famous uh, devotional work and a lot of uh, people recite that uh, that hundred verses of abirami andadi and in fact those who sing uh, you know learn carnatic music or sing songs you will come across one or two songs from that too as part of your uh, concerts or other such con uh, classes so abirami andadi is uh, on the abirami of uh, this salam so this is a you know every time i talk about a salam you know i talk about some aspects of the salam so hopefully in your future trips to india when the time comes you should uh, plan to go visit this salam too so with that background uh, we will go into the padigam so this salam uh, sambandhar tanavakar sir sundarar everybody has sung visited this salam sang padigam sang this salam and we have padigams of all of them and in the salam the padigam of tirunavakar sir on this salam in every song he refers to shiva kicking yama that is 4.107 padigam that padigam uh, we haven't seen so far but there is information for you and the padigam that we are going to see today which is sundaras padigam 7.28 in this padigam is a very melodious padigam very rhythmic padigam and very moving padigam and in this padigam sundara is addressing shiva of tirukadavur as the amritam and we know what amritam is amritam is the one that gives immortality and shiva kicked yama and gave immortality to markandeya so he refers to shiva of this salam as the nectar of immortality amritam so with that background uh we will uh, go into the padigam um madri you can uh, read the first verse with me okay podiyar meniyane podiyar meniyane puri nool oru paal porunda puri nool oru paal porunda vadiyar muvilai vel vadiyar muvilai vel வளர் அங்கையில் மங்கையொடும் வளர் அங்கையில் மங்கையொடும் கடியார் கொன்றையனே கடியார் கொன்றையனே கடவூர்தனுள் வீரட்டத்து எம் கடவூர்தனுள் வீரட்டத்து எம் அடிகேல் என் அமுதே அடிகேல் என் அமுதே எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே so the this padigam has the rhythm i have given that in the beginning of that uh, below the heading tana tana dana tana tana na tana dana that is the rhythm of the lines so those who are into singing if you sing or recite this padigam in that rhythm you will be able to get all the lines easily so podiyar meniyene puri nool oru kaal porunda vadiyar moovilai vel valarangayil mangayodum கடியார் கொன்றையனே கடவூர் தனுள் வீரட்டத்தம் அடிகேள் என்னமுதே என கார் துணை நீ அலதே சோ இந்த சாங் அண்ட் இந்த சோல் பதிகம் யூ வில் சி தட் லைக் மோஸ்ட் தேவாரம் பதிகம் இட் இஸ் गोइंग टू டிஸ்கிரைப் சிவாஸ் அட்ரிபியூட்ஸ் இஸ் யூ نو வாட் ஆர் தி திங்ஸ் இஸ் வேரிங் ஹவ் ஹி லுக்ஸ் ஆர் இஸ் கிரேட் இஸ் டீட்ஸ் யூ نو how he saved somebody or how we did something and then finally says you are dwelling in uh, tirukadavur oh swami save me who is there to save me except you that's how he says so in every song in this padigam sundar is saying i have no protection except you you are the my soul protector that's how he is saying so in every li- song is g- emphasizing that that shiva is his only protection so we look at the word meanings now 
பொடியார் மேனியனே பொடி இஸ் பவுடர் இட் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆஷ் ஆர் டஸ்ட் ஸோ ஹியர் இட் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆஷ் In Thevaram songs, in many songs, the word Podi will come. Niru will come. Niru is ash. Thiru Niru is holy ash, which is Vibhuti. And uh, Vibhuti and uh, this Podi is also holy ash. Podi or Maniyane. Mani is body. Maniyan is one with a body. Maniyane is second person. We are addressing that person. Podi is holy ash, R means having applied or wearing etc. So, Podi or Menire means O Shiva with a form smeared with holy ash. So, Basma Dharanam, right? So, Basma means wearing Basma on his body. That is the meaning of the Podi or Menire. O Shiva wearing Basma on your body. Then, next phrase. புரி நூல் ஒரு பால் பொருந்த நூல் இஸ் த்ரெட் புரி நூல் மீன்ஸ் த சேக்ரட் த்ரெட் புரி மீன்ஸ் ட்விஸ்டட் ஆர் சேக்ரட் த்ரெட் வில் ஹாவ் த ட்விஸ்டட் த்ரெட் ரைட் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் சேங் புரி நூல் அண்ட் தேர் வில் பி த்ரீ த்ரெட்ஸ் ஸோ முப்புரி நூல் இஸ் ஆல்சோ வாட் யூ வில் சி இன் சம் சாங்ஸ் ஸோ புரி நூல் மீன்ஸ் த சேக்ரட் த்ரெட் ஒரு பால் பொருந்த ஒரு பால் மீன்ஸ் ஒன் சைட் ஒரு இஸ் ஒன் பால் இஸ் சைட் பால் ஹேஸ் செவரல் மீனிங்ஸ் பட் ஹியர் த மீனிங் இஸ் சைட் பொருந்த மீன்ஸ் ஹேவிங் ஸோ புரி நூல் ஒரு பால் பொருந்த ஹேவிங் த சேக்ரட் த்ரெட் ஆன் ஒன் சைட் அண்ட் தென் வடியார் மூவிலை வேல் வேல் இஸ் த ஸ்பியர் ஆர் எனி sharp weapon that you hold in your hand right the spear or a javelin or a trishulam all that are veil so here is describing trishulam so mu vilai veil mu is three ilai means th- a leaf veil is weapon right so three leaved shulam so there is trishulam the trishulam that has three tips that look like three leaves you know you have seen the picture of trishulam so that trident with the three leaf like uh, tips and those are sharp tips vadi r movile vil vadi is sharp sharpness r is having so the trishulam with sharpness that's the meaning of the vadi r movile vil so you are having a trishulam sharp trishulam valar angayil angay is hand valar is holding so vadiyar movile vel valar angayil so holding a sharp trishulam on your hand in your hand mangayodum mangay is woman mangayodum is with a woman here it talks about uma devi and uma devi is on one side oru pal porunda right on one side so puri nool oru pal porunda mangay oru pal porunda that's how we have to interpret this verse so having sacred thread on one side and uma devi on the other side and as you know the tradition is it the males wear the sacred thread women don't wear the sacred thread so he is having sacred thread on one side and he is having a woman on the other side that's how we have to interpret that whole phrase so first two lines he said o shiva wearing holy ash o shiva having the sacred thread on one side and uma devi on the other side and holding a sharp trishulam and then kadiyar kondrayane kondray is a flower that we have seen in many thevaram songs we have talked about i think i have sent the picture of this tree and the flowers too so this is a tree that blooms with the yellow flowers that fl- blooms in bunches of yellow flowers and that kondray flower is a, one of the popular flowers that are mentioned in thevaram as shiva is wearing kondray flower on his matted locks shiva is wearing a garland of kondray flowers etc etc so here is saying kadiyar kondrayane kondrayan means one who is wearing kondray flower and is a masculine uh, suffix which indicates it's a um, you no know, kondrayan is one who is wearing kondray a male who is wearing kondray K- 
Kadi or Kondrai. Kadi is fragrance or is having. So, Kondrai flower that is having fragrance, you are wearing. Means Kadi or Kondrai is O Shiva wearing fragrant Kondrai flowers. So, so far he is addressing Shiva directly in second person. O Shiva wearing Basmam. O Shiva wearing uh, sacred thread. O Shiva having holding a trident. O Shiva having Uma as one half. O Shiva wearing Kondrai flower. Kadavur Danul Viratat Yam Adigal. Yam Adigal is our Lord. Adigal is Swami. Adigal is O Swami. Yam is our. Yam Adigal is O our Swami. And he is dwelling in Tirkadavur. Kadavur Danul. In Tirkadavur. Viratat. Viratam is the name of the temple. All the eight salams where the Shiva did the great acts of valor. They are known as Virattanam or Virattam in Tamil. It is a corrupted or Tamilized form of Virasthanam. Samskrita word Virasthanam that in Tamil it comes as Virattam. So Kadavur Dhanul Virattat in the Virattam temple in Thiru Kadavur Yam Adigel O our Lord O our Lord dwelling in Thirukadavur Viratam Temple Yen Amude Amudu is Tamil form of Amritam Yen Amude means Oh my nectar you know, Oh my Amudam we refer to uh, somebody as Amudam means somebody something that is very sweet something that is very enjoyable something that gives immortality that is Amritam right? even if we say you know, we go to uh, somebody's house, they invite you for dinner or something and they uh, serve you something and you say, uh, how was the uh, food? And you say, Amritam oh, it, it, it was divine, you know, that kind of thing. Amritam is very enjoyable, very nice. So, Yen Amude is, oh my nectar, is addressing Shiva as Amritam. Yenak ar tunai, Yenak is to me, ar who, Tuna is support or protector, protection. Ni allade, except you. Who is my protection except you? That means you are my sole savior. I have nobody, no, one's, no one else can protect me. You are my only protector. I don't consider anybody else as a, somebody who will save me from anything. You are the only one who can save me. So, in this whole song, he is describing Shiva's attributes, his holy form, and then mentions that he is dwelling in Tirukadavur, and he says, you are my nectar, and you are my sole savior, and please save me. That's implied, right? Is is only, rhetorically is asking, who is there? The final question, Yanaka Arthunai Ni Yaladeh. Who, who is my protector except you? Who else is my protector other than you? So that is a rhetorical question. That means that you are my only protector. So I have surrendered to you. Save me. So Madhuri, you can read the whole verse again. Podiyar meniyane purinul orupal porunda vadiyar muvilai vel valar angayil mangayodum Kadiyar Kondrayane Kadavur Danul Viratattu M Adigel N Amude Enak R Tunai Ni Alade. Very good. So, in the below that song, I have given a note saying that Padabedam or variant reading. Sometimes in some verses, you know, uh, there are uh, one word could be spelt differently in different uh, versions. And I think I may have mentioned this in the past. Uh, in some other context discussion. When they compile the Tevaram, you know, the, you have uh, different uh, collections, right? So, there are different uh, Saiva Matams, you know, there is Dharma Brahmadhyanam, there is Thruvavadu Dhyayadhyanam, there is Chidambaram Temple and there is, you know, there are other collections, you know, there is a uh, Tanjavur uh, Saraswati Mahal as a collection of uh, palm leaves, etc., etc., right? So, there are multiple palm leaf manuscripts available and when they Come, combine, uh, look up, when they create these editions, they look at the uh, various manuscripts and they say, you know, 
is it are are all matching or is there any variation sometimes you will find one word may be differently spelled in different uh, versions that may be because uh, you know when they make manual copies some errors or some changes could occur over many centuries so now we have two versions and if one is correct and other is obviously incorrect then we can discard the incorrect version and keep the correct version but sometimes you have multiple versions and uh, both could be correct both could fit the context so we don't know which is the original version so there is version a version b and both words you know word a or word b both could fit in that context and that will be correct and so that kind of situation they don't know which is the original one so they keep one and they note the other ones as part of edam or variant readings so both could be either one could be the original one we don't know that is the reason why in the first song for one word valar angayil mangayodum that in some very some versions it is written as valar gangayin mangayodum which also fits the context right ganga is ganga so angayil mangai angay is hand he is holding thread in his hand or he can say valar gangayin mangayodum means with the ganga devi you know she he is having ganga river on his matted lock so he is with ganga is described as a lady in indian scriptures and indian poetic traditions rivers are described as women so he will be described as with the lady ganga so it can also fit that's why that variant reading is uh, note is given uh, any questions or comments on the first verse if you are unmute you can unmute and ask if not we will go to atmarama you can read the second verse with me பிறை ஆரும் சடையாய் பிறை ஆரும் சடையாய் பிரமன் தலையில் பலிகொள் பிரமன் தலையில் பலிகொள் மறையார் வானவனே மறையார் வானவனே மறையின் பொருள் ஆனவனே மறையின் பொருள் ஆனவன் ஆனவனே கரை ஆரும் மிடற்றாய் கரை ஆரும் மிடற்றாய் கடவூர்தனுள் வீரட்டத்து எம் கடவூரதனுள் விரட்டத்து எம் இறைவா என் அமுதே இறைவா என் அமுதே எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே குட் சோ தி செகண்ட் சாங் தி ஹோல் பதிகம் இஸ் गोइंग टू बी இன் தி சேம் பேட்டர்ன் லைக் வாட் வி சா இன் தி फर्स्ट சாங் which is that he is going to address shiva in second person directly and he is going to describe various attributes of shiva and then he is going to say o shiva dwelling in trikadavur o my nectar who is my savior except you so we look at the phrases pirai aarum sadayai that is describing shiva as chandra shekara pirai is the crescent moon there are several words in tamil for moon just as in uh, other languages right uh, some sanskrit there are several words for uh, moon like that tingal is one word madi is another word pirai is another word pirai means crescent moon so pirai aarum sadai sadai is tamil form of jata aarum we have seen the word aarum is going to come in every song in the sadigam the first song we saw right podiyar meniyane vadiyar moovilevel kadiyar kondrayane or arum these are all different forms of the same verb having so pirai arum sadayai o shiva with the matted locks having the crescent moon that means shiva is wearing the crescent moon on his matted locks so pirai arum sadayai o சந்திரசேகர ஓ ஜடாதாரி நெக்ஸ்ட் பிரேசஸ் பிரமன் தலையில் பலிகொள் மறையார் வானவனே இஸ் டிஸ்கிரைபிங் 
two attributes into one sentence there. Tiraman Talayil Palikol. Pali in Tamil is the Bali of Sanskritam, which means food or arms. Tiraman is Brahma. Talay is, is skull. Talay is head, but here it stands for skull. Balikol. Balikol means accepting arms. So, Piraman Talayil Palikol means accepting arms in the Brahma skull. That is one attribute of Shiva, Bhikshatana form. And then, Marai or Vanavane. Vanavan, Vanam is sky or heavens. Vanavan is he who is in the heavens, who is in the sky. Deva or Marai is Tamil word for Vedam. So, Marai or Vanavane. O Deva, praised by the Vedas, who receives arms in Brahma's skull. That is the meaning of that phrase. Talma Piraman Talil Paligul Marayar Vanavane. So he's describing Shiva as the one who is in the heavens and who is praised by the Vedas and who goes as Bhikshatana and uh, taking, uh, receiving arms on in Brahma's skull that he's holding in his hand. Then he repeats Marayan Purulanavane. So, Shiva sings the Vedas. There are several aspects of Veda and the connection between Shiva and Veda. One is that Shiva is the singer of Vedas because Shiva is the one who sang Vedas and Vedas have been received from Shiva himself. That is one aspect. That is a Marayar Vanavane. Marayan Purula Vanavane means Shiva is the meaning of the Vedas. Shiva is the Object of the Vedas. Purul is Vastu. In Tamil, Purul equivalent word in Sanskritam is Vastu or Vishayam. So, Marayin Purul. You are the essence of the Vedas. You are the object of the Vedas. Marayin Purul Anavane. You are Anavane is you are Marayin Purul. The meaning of Vedas. Next phrase. Karai Arum Medatrai. Karai is stain or darkness. Midar is kantam. Kantam is a Sanskrit word which means throat. The equivalent Tamil word for throat is midar. And one who has a throat, that comes as medatrai. You with a throat is medatrai. Karai Arum Medatrai. O Shiva with a throat having a dark spot. So Karai Arum Medatrai. O Nilakanta. Kadavur Danul Viratatiyam Raiva. Raivan is a Tamil word which means Swami, Master, one who is everywhere. So it's a God. Equivalent word for God in Tamil is Raivan. So, Kadavur Danul Viratat Yam Raiva. O, our God, dwelling in Viratam Temple in Trikadavur. Yen Amude. O, my nectar. Yenak Arthunai Ni Alade. Who else is my protector except you? The word alade, in Tamil, it will usually come as alade. There will be an extra L. But in the poetry, because of the rhythm and meter and the sound patterns, the one L has been dropped. In poetry, there are some licenses that are available to poets to modify the words slightly to fit the meter as they need. So, alade in this song, in this Padigam, it comes as Alade. So, the summary of the song, O Chandra Shekra, O Jatadari, O Shiva taking arms in Brahma's skull, O Deva who sang the Vedas, O Shiva who is the essence of the Vedas, 
ఓ నీలకంఠ ఓ స్వామి డ్వెలింగ్ ఇన్ తిరుకడవూర్ ఓ మై నెక్టర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నో ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ యూ సేవ్ మీ ఐ హ్యావ్ సరౌండర్ టు యూ దట్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద సెకండ్ సాంగ్ సో యూ కెన్ రిపేర్ రీడ్ హోల్ బై సెకండ్ రాత్మరా పెరై ఆరుం సడ్డయాయ్ పిరమన్ తలయిర్ పలికొల్ మరై ఆర్ వనవనే మరయన్ పొరుల్ అనవనే కరై ఆరుం నడట్రాయ్ కడ బోరదనుల్ విరట్ట ఎం ఎరేవా ఎన్ అమూదే ఎనక్ ఆర్ తొన్నై నీ అలదే గుడ్ సో నౌ వి విల్ గో టు ద థర్డ్ వర్స్ Uh, Rama, you can read with me. Yes. Andru alin nirarkir. Andru alin nirarkir. Aram nalvarkku arul purindu. Aram nalvarkku arul purindu. Kondrai kalan uyir. Kondrai kalan uyir. Koduttai marayonukku. Koduttai marayonukku. மான் கன்று ஆறும் கரவா மான் கன்று ஆறும் கரவா கடவூர் திரு வீரட்டத்துள் கடவூர் திரு வீரட்டத்துள் என் தாதை பெருமான் என் தாதை பெருமான் எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே எனக்கு ஆர் துணை நீ அல்லதே சோ இன் திஸ் சாங் थर्ड சாங் இஸ் டிஸ்கிரைபிங் the dakshinamurthi form is describing shiva kicking yama he says shiva who is holding a deer in his hand and is describing shiva as my father dwelling in tirukadavur i have no support except you we look at the phrases and the words andru alin nilarku ஆரம் நால்வர்க்கு அருள் புரிந்து ஆல் இஸ் ஆலமரம் ஆலமரம் இஸ் பனியன்ட்ரி ஐ டோன் நோ இட் ப்ராப்ளி இஸ் கால்ட் ஆலமரம் இன் தெலுங்கு டு ஐ டோன் நோ பட் ஆலம் இஸ் கம்ஸ் ஃபார் டூ திங்ஸ் ஆலம் கேன் ஆல்சோ மீன் த பாய்சன் ஹலாஹலம் பட் ஆல் ஆலம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ காமன்லி யூஸ் ஃபார் the alamaram so depending on the context most of the times it will refer to uh, banyan tree andru andru means that day then once upon a time that's the meaning of andru long ago in the past alin nirar kil means under the banyan tree kil is below alin nirar kil is under the banyan tree aram நால்வருக்கு அருள் புரிந்து அறம் இஸ் தர்மா த சம்ஸ்கிருதம் வேர்ட் தர்மா த ஈக்குவல் அண்ட் வேர்ட் இன் தமிழ் அறம் நால்வருக்கு நால்வர் இஸ் டு தோர் டு தோர் சேஜஸ் நால்வர் வி நோ தட் சனகாதி ரிஷிகள் தோஸ் ஃபோர் சேஜஸ் ஹூ ஆர் சீட்டட் நெக்ஸ்ட் நியர் தீட் ஆஃப் சிவா இந்த தட்சிணாமூர்த்தி ஃபார்ம் to those four sages arul purind arul purigal is to bestow grace aram arul purind means you taught or you explain the dharma to them so the whole first line andru alin nirarku aram nalvarku arul purind o shiva who as dakshana murti was seated beneath the banyan tree and explained dharma to the four sages that is the meaning of the first line so it is a, a sentence that is continuing on to the phrase that is continuing on to the next line but this phrase is what it means dakshinamurthi dakshinamurthi who was seated beneath the banyan tree who explained dharma to the four sages and next phrase கொன்றாய் காலன் உயிர் கொடுத்தாய் மறைவனுக்கு சோ த வேர்ட் உயிர் ஹேஸ் டு பி இன்டர்பிரட்டட் போத் ஆன் த லெப்ட் சைட் அண்ட் ஆன் த ரைட் சைட் இட்ஸ் அ பொயட்டிக் 
uh, uh, technique where they can use a word or a phrase which can be combined with the words before or after. You know, in uh, this is called the, uh, in Tamil they use the word irainilai tivagam, but basically they, it's like a light that is in the middle which shines on both sides. So, konrai kalan uir, that is one phrase. Uir kodutai marayonukku is another phrase. The uir has to be used twice in the interpretation. Konrai kalan uir, kalan we know kala, yama. Konrai means you killed. Uir is life. So, kalan uir konrai means you killed yama and took away his life. Then next phrase, Uyir Kodutthai Marayonukku. You gave life to the Brahmin kid. Maray is Veda. Marayon is the uh, Brahmana who chants Vedas. So here it is Marayon. Here it refers to Markandeya. So Uyir Kodutthai Marayonukku. You gave life to Markandeya. So the whole phrase, Kondrai Kalan Uyir Kodutthai Marayonukku means you killed Yama's life and you gave life to Markandeya. So this is the referring to the Stala Puranam. We know that yeah, Shiva kicking Yama, that is referred here. The next phrase, Man Kandru Arum Karava. This is referring to Shiva holding a young deer. Man is deer. Kandru means a baby, you know, the young of a, a cattle or young of a deer or young of a elephant. So they are all called country in Tamil. You know, in languages they have uh, names for baby animals. Depending on uh, what uh, animal it is, we may have a, one of several words, right? So even in English we have these kind of words, right? We say a kitten is for young of a cat. Puppy is for young of a dog, like that. Cub is for a lion. Calf is for a cow. Like that in Tamil, the country means a young baby animal that is used for several animals. Deer, calf, um, cow or uh, elephant. Their baby animal is called country. So, man country means baby deer, young deer. Arum karava. Karam, karam is hand, Sanskrit word. Karava is one who has got a hand. Aram is having. So, Mankandru Aram Karava means, O oh, Shiva having, holding a baby deer in your hand. And we know that story. Shiva is, if you look at the Shiva's uh, form, he will be holding a battle axe, he will be holding a deer, he will be holding a trisholam, he will be using a, holding a fire. He will be holding a drum, you know, the small drum, the damurukam. So he will have all those kind of things in his hands. So one of them is the baby deer. So that's what he's referring here. Mankandru aram karava, o shiva holding a baby deer in your hand. Kadavur thir viratattul en tadai. Tadai is again a Tamil form of probably a Sanskrit word datha. That means one who gave us, you know, one who, like the Tadai refers to father. So, Kadavur Thiruviratatul Yen Tadai. Oh, my father dwelling in Kadavur Viratam temple. Peruman. Here it refers to, oh Lord. Peruman is a Tamil word for Lord, the great one. Peru is big, Man is a master or Lord. Peruman is for the great Lord. And that's why he's in. Tevaram will always come as Peruman. In Tripugal, the same word comes as Perumal. You know, if you know the Tripugal songs, whatever we have seen and whatever else you may know, all Tripugal songs, almost all of them will end as Perumale. There, Perumale refers to Murugan as a Lord. Here, Peruman is referred to Shiva. So, O Lord, O my Father, dwelling in Tirukadavur Virattam, who is there to save me except you? So in this song, he is referring to the Salapuranam of Tirukadavur, where 
Shiva kicked Yama and gave immortality to Markandeya. That is what he is referring to the second line. So he is referring to Dakshinamurti, he is referring to Shiva kicking Yama, he is talking of Markandeya, he is talking of Shiva holding a deer and generally he is addressing Shiva as my father, my lord, etc. And says, you are my soul protector. Save me, I have surrendered to you. So you can read the whole verse again, Rama. Andra Alin Niraki Aram Nalvark Arul Purinde Kondrai Kalan Uir Kudutai Marayonuku Man Kandra Arum Karava Kadavur Tirut Viratatul Yan Tadai Piruman Yanakar Tunai Ni Alade. Very good. So, what I sized is that, you know, uh, we can probably stop our discussion for today at this uh, point and then uh, have uh, any questions or comments you may have, we can discuss. And if you want, we can uh, listen to the Oduvar singing this Padigam if there is interest. Any comments or questions on the three songs you have seen so far? Yeah, yeah. Uh, only one observation. So, uh. in the Dakshinamurti form, normally uh, it is the, the the story that I know is that uh, he just looks them in silence and then he transmits the knowledge of Vedas. Uh -huh. So, here it is uh, that uh, for Vedas, normally you have uh, Virai, right? In Marai. Marai is Vedam. Yeah. Marai, correct. Marai is uh, Vedam and then Karma is, uh, uh, I think, uh, you have something like Virai, is it? Uh, the, the, the dharmam? No, the, yeah, Dharma is Arai, you said. Yeah. Uh, dharma is Aram. Karma Aram, is yeah. Vinay. Karma is Vinay. Karma is Vinay, yeah. Vinay is Karma and then Veda is... Uh, Marai. Marai. So, here it is Aram is used. I thought maybe Marai would have been used. Yeah, so, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so the way the Dakshamrati form, uh, it will be described as, uh, uh, he explained the Vedas to them, okay, Correct. because they had doubts. The sages had, uh, they were not clear on some aspects of the Vedas, so Shiva, they had questions in their mind, and of course, there was no words exchanged. They were sitting in silence, Shiva, was, Dakshamrati is sitting in silence, just by, in silence, with the chin mudrai and with this, uh, just looking at them, he was able to answer all their doubts. Okay, so there, the but it will be described as he explained the Vedas to the sages because they had doubts, so he explained the Vedas, he explained explained it so that their doubts were cleared. So that's how it will be described, and also the Vedas are what are they explaining? They are explaining the dharma. What is the right conduct? How do we, what is God? How do we reach God, etc. Right? So he is describing all those paths and dharma. So uh, it is also described as aram, and uh, is explaining Vedas is explaining dharma to them. That's how it will be coming in various Devaram songs. So it will also be referred in some song as Shiva, Shiva dharma. You know, in, depending on the poetic context, they will have different ways of saying it, but but it is the same thing. Explaining the Vedas, resolving their doubts, is what he does as a Dakshinamurti, and that is also, that's what is called as Aram Arulpurind. To them, he explained the Dharma. Does it answer the question? Yeah. Good. Any other thoughts or comments? Okay. If not, we will stop the recording at this point and then we can have uh, Odhuvar audio if you are interested. Tiruchitrambalam.